What's up guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how you can make a tree using the skin modifier. So if you've deleted everything, you can go ahead and hit Shift A and add in a plane. Hit Tab to go into edit mode, hit M and merge everything at the center. Next go to your modifiers and add in the skin modifier. If you want, you can also add in a subdivision surface, I'd recommend it. I'm going to change mine to levels view of 2. Next I'm going to hit A to select that vertice there and I'm going to hit E and Z and pull it up. Pull it up something like that, G and Z if you want to make it a little higher. I'm also going to go under my skin modifiers here and enable smooth shading. Next I'm going to hit, uh, go down to my bottom one and hit control A and just scale that up a bit. And G and Z to move that one up a little more. Next I'm going to just go into top mode here and I'm going to start extruding out for the branches. Control A if you want to scale them down a bit. I'm going to give this one about five main branches. Then I'm going to grab these points here and I'm just going to hit G and Z to move them up and just make them all a little bit random. So G and Z just moving the points up. And G and Z to move it up. Next I'm going to go into x-ray mode here and I'm going to hit control R and just add some points to these uh, branches here. By hitting control R I'm adding a new point. Using the scroll wheel you can scroll to add more. And then I'm just going to select these points at random and start extruding them out and hit control A. Just to have some extra little branches you know extruding out of the main branches. Just changing my view so I get a random extrusion so they're not all extruding the same exact way. You want to watch for any of this pinching here in the mesh because later when you go ahead and apply the skin modifier it's going to cause you issues. So if you need to scale any points to fix that, do that. taking advantage of all these points that I've created. Now the more points you create the more uh, geometry it will give you later when you go ahead and apply your subdivision surface modifier. So just keep that in mind. So if you want your tree to be a little bit more low poly, maybe don't do as many uh, extrusions. So for this tutorial I'm just going to leave this here. Uh, I'm going to go out of x-ray mode here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my skin modifier and then I'm going to apply my subdivision surface modifier. So now you can see that I have lots of geometry to work with here. So next what we're going to do now that we have all this geometry to work with is we'll go into sculpt mode and I'm going to go to move this over here, turn on dyno topo, dyno topo and then just go to constant detail and I'm going to select this uh, draw here and I'm just going to start drawing on the tree just to give it some variation and make it look a bit rougher. You even kind of go around in a circular motion just to kind of make it look like it's warping around. We'll use uh, proportional editing later to manipulate this even further and give it more of a unique look. Right now I'm just kind of going over the tree, getting rid of the uh, smooth perfections here. Using this one right here, the draw sharp. Got my strength at 0.5 and my radius at 50, which is perfect for what I'm doing right now. making sure I get all these uh, rounded points here. Make sure they're looking a little bit sharper, not as rounded. So once you get your tree looking more like a tree, 
can go ahead and try using some of these other ones. I like, I like to use blob, especially around the bottom of the tree, just to get, fatten it up a little bit here. Just holding down the left uh, button on my mouse here. We can. I also like to use this uh, snake hook here, and just grab some points at the bottom and just pull them out. Although you may need to, I'll control Z that, turn up your radius a bit here. And the strength is up to one now. This way we'll give the tree some roots. I usually like to do about three or four. I think I'll leave it there at four. So now I'm going to go back into object mode. I'm going to left click on this and then I'll shade smooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into front mode here, into edit mode, and I'm just going to make sure my proportional editing is turned on, and I'm going to also make sure my x-ray mode is turned on. And I'll grab all of these vertices like this. I'm going to turn x-ray mode off just so I can see a little better, and I'm going to hit R and Z. This is kind of giving the tree like a twisted look here. And what we can do is we can even add another subdivision surface modifier just to smooth it out there. So now our tree is starting to have some more detail, especially around this bottom end. And I kind of want to keep this going uh, with the top. So what we can do is we can go back into edit mode, make sure proportional editing is on and our x-ray mode is on, and just grab some of these top limbs here. And I'm going to hit R, rotate it out like that with proportional editing on, G and Z, move that up. And I'm going to do the same for some of these other branches. Feel free to twist them as well. Now our tree is looking pretty creepy. And there, that's how you can quickly model a creepy looking tree using the skin modifier. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit like. It really helps me and the channel out, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.